G'day. Here we are in the beautiful Avon Valley with the new call, fully coil sprung Nissan Navara. Well, it's not really new. It's the updated version of the, uh, the Nissan Navara that uh, Nissan have released here in, uh, in 2018. So it's our first look at it, um, but we're going to uh, give it a bit of a try out here in the, in the valley. Um, so let's get on with it. back home after well, a good several hours um, in the Avon Valley. Uh, driving up, uh, I, I thought the, sea, the rear suspension felt very, very firm um, and it, you really felt every, uh, every bump in the road. Um, while we are out on the tracks, we um, just checked the tyre pressures and found that uh, they were up uh, over 40 psi. Uh, so we've dropped them down to about 30 and uh, difference on the way back is, is noticeable. It's uh, uh, taken that real harshness out of it which is uh, really nice. On the tracks uh, in the Avon Valley, uh, the rocky dusty tracks, um, the, the little Navara performs faultlessly really. It, uh, it's a really um, functional vehicle, typical Nissan. It's just, uh, it just does the job uh, without much fuss. Um, it's got all the bits and pieces that you need. Um, uh, the, the coil rear suspension really will set it apart from um, uh, from the other utes in this category. Uh, having coil springs in the rear is just going to make a, a huge difference. And at the end of the day, um, when you've got uh, a coil spring, it's no big deal to uh, if you find that the coil spring's not what you wanted. It's either too firm or it's not carrying the load properly. It's no big deal to uh, uh, to swap it out. I mean, the tradie, I suppose, is. Um, who just wants to use it uh, as his work ute and doesn't want to have to do anything to it, then um, I think these these springs uh, and the suspension setup is going to do the job across the board. But um, you know, suspensions are, are real um, is uh, is a bit, is a real compromise. You know, you can't have a big load carrying capacity and expect it to ride like a, a limousine. All in all. Pretty impressed with the uh, the Navara. Yes, very impressed indeed. Okay, um, it's a double horse load, um, extended length. Um, it's come in at about 1.2 ton, I think. Um, the suspension dropped at 25 mil. Um, driving with the float on. Uh, obviously, you can feel it on the back. It certainly uh, firms things up on the rear, and 
um, from a towing point of view, it feels feels fine. It feels just like it's on the back of a hunting series. There you go folks, that's the updated D23 Nissan Navara, a well-rounded package that will do just about anything you ask of it with little trouble at all.